Today I'm going to show you how to create vintage sunsets in Adobe Illustrator. These are very easy to create, you can apply them to many different niches in print on demand and they've proven to sell on multiple different marketplaces. What I'm going to do is actually change the background colour of our artboard to black. The way to do that is go into File, Document Setup, Simulate Coloured Paper, click on this box to change that to black, hit OK and now if we zoom out we can see this has gone to black. The reason for that is just because we want our design to work really well on dark t-shirts because those are usually the ones that sell the best. So to begin with we just want to select the ellipse tool from the tool panel over here and you can also press L on your keyboard. We don't need a stroke color selected, any light color really for the fill. Right once we've got that circle drawn out we want to select the rectangle tool, change the fill color to black. You want to draw one box at the bottom of this just to create that typical sunset shape and then also draw out some lines above. Copy these multiple times above. Now we just need to knock all of the black out so we only have the white left and the best way to do that is go into the pathfinder window. If you don't see it, go at the top to window, just tick the path find our option there and then all you need to do is click minus front and it should erase all of the black from your white sunset. So the next thing to do is add some colour to our sunset and I typically use some of my old colour schemes that I've used before. You can feel free to copy this one or just look online at other t-shirts basically or for colour scheme inspiration on Google. Let's quickly colour these in. Okay and we're done. The next step obviously would be to add a silhouette of something that we want to break into a niche for. So if you want to design something aimed at gamers then you might add like a controller silhouette. The way to find some of these would be either obviously paid for servers like Vexels or Creative Fabrica but you can also get free vectors on sites like public domain vectors or freesvg.org and I'll leave the link to those down below. So the graphic that I found is from Vexels. Obviously you can also create one yourself that way you don't have to use any pre-made graphics but just to save some time I've chosen this. Change the fill color of it to black and then place it in front of your sunset. You might now notice that some of these holes in the controller essentially have the black lines going through them which is okay but it it doesn't really look ideal. So what I like to do sometimes in this case is just go around with a pen tool and basically draw a shape within the controller which will fill out all of these black gaps that we don't really want like so. Okay, and then you just need to change the color obviously and then hit control and the open bracket I'll put the symbol up on screen to move it down a layer or multiple layers if, if you have to in your case as you can see now it's a lot clearer that's a before can't really tell that well and that's after might look better in yellow just try that okay so what we need to do next is actually take the black of the controller out of our sunset you don't necessarily have to do this but quick and easy way to do that is not to use the shape builder that's something I used to do pick the shape builder and then erase these and it gets really tedious because you've all these small spaces there's a quicker way to go about it that's basically selecting everything pathfinder click divide and all you have to do is select one of the black shapes go to select same fill color and then just click delete on your keyboard and now if you pull it over you can see that all of the black has gone so last but not least we're going to add some texture onto our sunset you can also do this in photoshop but i found that sometimes it's useful to do this step in illustrator as well so if your texture file isn't vectorized yet the way to do that is to click image trace at the top hit ok now we can see it's turned it into vector format the only problem is we've got a white background. The way to change that is go into image trace panel, hit advanced here and select ignore white and there we go we've got the black texture cut out. The only thing that's left to do is hit expand and now we can pull this onto our sunset, find a spot where it looks suitable. You don't want to sort of cover up your uh, main image a lot like the controller in this case. Keep the main part of the texture around your silhouette in the middle and I think that looks good so uh, once again what we have to do is select everything, hit divide and yeah, just select one of the pieces of the texture. Go to select same fill color and delete and now just double check there is still some pieces left over these don't have a fill color but I still like to get rid of them just in case they get in the way with aligning stuff right and there we are 
got a gamer controller sunset all the black has been cut out so i think i'll also quickly show you how to add some text to this one way that always looks quite nice is to have the text arched around the top of the sunset and the way to do that is draw out an ellipse a circle with the ellipse tool change the stroke color select both the sunset and your stroke of the circle and then align to center now we just need to move the circle around a bit we want this to be aligned properly to the arch of the sunset to add some text onto that basically select the text tool hit alt on your keyboard while you're hovering over the path and we want to align it to the top center as much as possible right i've gone ahead and selected the font wildborn now i'm going to align the text to center and just turn this around by 180 degrees to change the preset text to something that actually makes more sense like just a dad make that bigger just a dad who loves gaming might be a good idea to change that bottom font to something a bit taller so it stands out more and also to separate it from the other text because that is the main word that people would be interested in if they're looking for obviously a gaming t-shirt um, maybe that font yeah that works better you can obviously just add any different silhouette to these sunsets and make uh, lots of various designs for lots of different niches all right that's it for today's video i hope you guys took away something new and you can use this design style to create some your own stuff and make a lot of sales with your t-shirts if you have any questions just leave them down below i'll be happy to answer them i hope you have a nice day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye